at the plate. Especially a guy like Fascia, who has been behind the plate so much this year, as he puts this one into the gap, it'll split the gap and roll all the way to the wall. And Zach Fascia has now got a 15-game hitting streak. Lead-off double here in the second inning. Fascia continuing to see the ball well. He sees this pitch on the inside part of the plate, gets the barrel right to it, but swings through it, gets that extension, and creates that gapper that Mark Wazikowski is going to love to see this leadoff double. That's been missing from the Purdue offense. But a nice job by Fashion to get that extension and jump on the fastball to get into scoring position right away in this second inning. Wax set the 1-0. In on the hands, and he floats it into right field for a base hit. Scoring is Fascia, stopping at second is Everts, and a huge two-out RBI single for Tyler Powers. 1-0 Purdue. Tyler Powers got a pitch that he can handle. It was a fastball in, but yet he was able to pull his hands inside and shoot this to right. It's out over the middle of the plate, but he's thinking the other way in the entire swing. Look where that pitch is. It's on the inner half, but he's still able to pull his hands in, shoot it over to right field. It's going to reward him with an RBI in the first run of the game for the Boilermakers. Just a nice job of using the barrel. Jack Housinger. And a swing and a miss. Housinger out on strikes. One down in the third. Thomasick elevating this fastball with two strikes and gets Housinger to offer at it. Ball's in the ice. Housinger sees it very well, but you've got to be very quick to catch up to a ball that high in the way you do it on schedule. The one-two. Cold strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Tomasic. Two up, two down in the Xavier third. This is just a sequence of excellent fastball location. And to close out, Tomasic goes the outside part of the plate. Former wrestler. Swing and a miss. Excellent pitch by Tomasic. Warkenton fooled on the swing. And there's the first out of the fourth. A well-spotted fastball that's away, obviously. And Gibbon hits it to the left side. That is a fair ball throw from behind the bag in time. Great pick by Everts over at first on the throw from Powers. On the play, Major advancing to third, but two gone. This is a tremendous play on both ends for the Boilermakers. First by Powers to get to the backhand side. The quick release to get the ball to first. And then Everts with a great pick on that throw. Hurts at second base. Skies this one to center field. Playable for Franzoni, who's on the run. It's carrying over his head, and it bounces off the track and all the way to the wall. That ball just continued to carry. Howe sliding in at third with a run scoring triple. Howe got a pitch in the middle of the plate, got full extension, and generated some backspin. That backspin allows the ball to carry. As Franzoni was playing shallow with two outs. In the spacious center field of Alexander Field. A short swing from Howe, but that pitch was right down in the zone. And he did a good job of getting extended and hitting 2-2 to Housinger. Breaking ball, cold, strike three. Here's the 3-2. Cold, strike three. That fastball was a dart right at the knees. Best pitch that we've seen from Baum tonight. Well, he hits his spot. That ball had some life and carried through the zone. It freezes Manastra, but the location was key. That's a no-doubter on the outside part of the plate. Came inside, and it's popped up behind the plate. Fascia, long run, makes the catch. Good work by Fascia. Had to hurry up to get that one as it came down quickly. And Shepsky's retired. A lot of foul ground here at Alexander Field. But you see Fascia throw the mask away, cover that ground, and catch the ball just before he gets to the wall. Not always easy to find it once it's up, but he does a good job of locating the ball. Turning his back to the East champs. If they lose a game, Xavier the champions. As Warkenton down on strikes. And a 1-2-3 inning in the sixth. Boilers up. Doors not closed on Omaha, but it's slim chances as Fascia drives this one to right. That ball pretty well hit, and it's gone. Zach Fascia with a solo home run, his fourth of the season. And Purdue with a 3-0 lead. Well, Zach Fascia went up there hunting fastball. He got it and didn't miss it. This pitch right down the middle. He got extended. Look at the swing. Short to the ball and through it. Generates that lift. 
carries on on Alexander Field. Well, assurance for the Boilermakers, having the third run. There he goes, and the pitch is lined in the left for a base hit. Nissel around second on his way to third. The slide to third, and he is safe at third. So Nissel aggressive on the base pads. Goes to third on the base hit from Nick Everts. And Purdue continues with some good hitting in the middle of the lineup. You get a little bit of a lead. You can start taking some chances. And Mark Wasikowski starts Nissel, but great, a great read by him. Look at his eyes as he sees that ball was hit on the line to left field. The ball's in front of him. He knows his speed. Here's the one, two. And that's Cole, strike three. Shep tripled in a run of the seventh, and they've got another runner picked off. The throw to second, and he is out. He overslid the bag and went. And Fasha puts a charge into this one to right. Going back is Shepsky, and that ball is off the wall. Fasha on his way to second. He's one base shy of a cycle as he coasts in with a leadoff double in the eighth. Four for four tonight for Zach Fasha. He's seen it well and had a good at bat here because he saw a number of pitches from Schramm. Got a mistake, though. It's a fastball middle in. Fasha just crushes it. Hits it off the top of the wall. Once it bounded around, everybody's thinking, is he going to go for three? He'll settle for the double on a career-high four hits tonight for Zach Fasha. Now you've got Ben Nissel up, who sacrificed. Here's the one-two. Swing and a miss. Fastball got him. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Hofstra. Fans, Housinger, and Hofstra slams the door on Xavier as Purdue gets the 4-3 win over the Musketeers. Well, offensively, it was Zach Fascia for the Purdue Boilermakers. He gets four hits and scores all four of the Boilers' runs. It was a cavalcade of arms for both teams, but in the end, Purdue comes out on top with Hofstra nailing it down. They take it 4-3. 4-3 victory for the Purdue Boilermakers. We'll return to West Lafayette, wrap things up. We return in just a moment here on BTN.